I just woke up, kill me. Many a times there are games that come about that just make you say wow, like Shaq Fu. This isn't one of those games, this is this is actually a good game. See guys, look how much work I'm putting into my videos now, it's amazing. First things first, you're gonna want to open Undertale if you actually want to play it. We know you're talking about white people and Asians, don't be slick. Now I know I already have a run going, but I think I'm gonna reset it. Why the name Donnie? Maybe I was thinking about Donnie Hathaway, I don't know. See, start out as this androgynous, ugly sweater where it'll look in it. I cannot wait until I start talking about Flowey. I'm just gonna rip him apart. My god, I almost forgot about the most important part. See, if you come to any wall like this, you can seemingly channel the anger of the gods. Then there should be a door. Remember, walk through any strange door. And then we get to Satan. What a stupid name for a little stupid flower. Now that you've looked into one of the two faces of death, let's start. You can already tell that this boy cheese and just the oh, smile. Oh, Caroline. Alright, I'm about to teach you guys how to get a confirmed psychopath right here. What you gotta do is avoid Flowey's romantic advances like this. Look at how fast this guy's base turns. Oops, I accidentally missed it again. See, this is where you never trust a flower. This is one of the constants of this entire world. See, now this time I do actually want to miss him. See, and this is where you meet your first psychopath of the game. See, now the real question here is, do you like death? Because, like, immediately after he tries to kill you. And in all honesty, you'd probably be dead if it weren't for a mysterious goat lady. And does she try to kill you? Maybe, but that's besides the point. Anyways, now she's your mom, whether you like it or not. For some reason, she's skilled in the arts of deadly conflict resolve. <laughs> I don't even know what this part is. Anyways, just remember if you see like a stray frog or your mom's gonna come along and intimidate it. So yeah, that's fighting. And then there's this part which makes you say, hey, if I do genocide, I really am a monster. She's merely behind this pillar the whole time. I won't get into the cell phone calls just yet, yeah, that's for you to explore. In the end, you gotta remember that this is a game of risk and reward, right? You just gotta remember that like everything, everything has consequences and you just gotta... uninstalling screw this and then you're just met with puzzle after puzzle that's unsolvable and you can't do a squat with it. that's what quote unquote determinations for and why is this texan rock talking to me looks like i finally found someone who's more depressed than i am this is no way to live i mean look at him his first attack is basically tears and his second is a literal plea for help all in all, not sure why, but Napster Black is probably one of my favorite characters in this game. See guys, this part's super important. If you have enough money to buy some spider cider right now, you can avoid having an aneurysm later. I'm just gonna walk over here. Hang on, what was that? What is this? I guess it was nothing, just an ant-sized frog. God, I hate Vegetoids so much. Okay, guide to this room. There's a ribbon in this one, there is a switch in this one. And that's, that's all that's important. This room is just as frustrating the first time around as it is to explain, so I just won't do either of those things. See, if you go over here, you can go ahead and get a toy knife, but you're not thinking of killing anyone, are you? Reunited and it feels... I know I sound bored making this video, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. See, this is another part where it's like, if I do genocide, I should kill myself. See, this is another part where it'd be boring if I told you all this stuff. Explore the house as you want to. So this is the part where you figure out that Toriel has the power to teleport. That's a joke of course, then after fair warning and all, you're forced to fight Toriel, and there's two ways to like, spare without killing her. First way is to keep deliberately pressing spare. Second way is to let her get you low on HP on purpose. Afterwards, every single one of her attacks will miss. It's like stormtroopers in here. Honestly, looks like she has better things to do than killing children. If you successfully spare her, she'll talk a little bit and you're still a terrible person for doing genocide. Once you're almost out of the ruins, the living embodiment of cancer will talk to you about your performance in there and you're basically done. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're just done with that psych? We got three or four more to go, so you know, like if you want some more, some more of this. It's pretty fun to do. Peace out for now.